truly extraordinary debut feature, Earth Mama from writer-director Savannah Leaf. Um, I want to thank uh, A24 Film 4, Park Pictures, everyone who brought this film to Sundance. It was a late addition to our program, but I cannot imagine our program without it. Sundance has always been about discovery, about new voices, and this is a new voice that is so fresh, so profound, so lyrical, that I think we will be hearing it for a very long time to come. Earth Mama sets forth, um, at the outset, a, a question about whether or not we can ever truly walk in someone else's shoes uh, to appreciate or understand their experiences. But the deeply moving, soulful, uh, experiential character portrait that follows um, is so beautiful, so layered, and so full of humanity that it shows how powerfully empathetic uh, cinema can be in exploring the vulnerability and the strength in people. We were really struck also by just how bold the aesthetic is and these formal choices, the cinematography, and a completely original score, completely captivating performances. Um, there are passages in this film that you just literally fall into. Um, it's a really, really beautiful film that we're so happy to have in the program. The filmmaker is Savannah Leaf, who just over 10 years ago, Just over 10 years ago, was an Olympic athlete in moving into visual storytelling and photography. She's made a number of short works, a video from Marvin Gaye's What's Going On as part of Universal Music's Never Made series, a visual adaptation of Tiana Clark's poem, The Eyes Have It, the Grammy-nominated video for Gary Clark Jr.'s This Land, and most recently, the documentary short, The Heart Still Hums, a beautiful black and white documentary portrait of five mothers her struggles with homelessness, addiction, and neglect. It is an accomplished body of work that has now grown with the addition of this amazing first feature. I am really honored to bring up to the stage writer-director of Earth Mama, Savannah Leaf. for being here. It means a lot to me. And um sorry, I didn't realize I was gonna cry. <laughs> um, this is a really special moment because there's some really amazing cast in the audience who have inspired so much of this film. And our crew who has been incredible and poured themselves into this, our heads of department, our producers, and um, you know, it started off as a very personal story. <laughs> but uh, it's expanded into something so much more than that. And it's like a very collective voice and it's a shared story. And um, I want to say how grateful I am to the people that were involved in this. Um, so thank you. Um, thank you to A24 and Film 4 for believing in voices like my own. And um, thank you to Sundance because I really respect and appreciate the films that are here, especially this year. I feel like I've seen so many amazing black filmmakers who I've come up with and they've made their first film and I'm like alongside them and that feels very crazy. <laughs> wow, it's so weird to cry like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys for being here. It's a very special moment for me. And, um, I really hope you enjoy it, Earth Mama. So, thank you. <laughs> it's 
and Cassie Lou as well, who is our composer. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you. Savannah was... <laughs> you, you got it. All good. <laughs> Thinking about motherhood and the role of moms. So do you want to just sort of maybe start with some of that? Yeah, so... Um, the, um, for me, this film has been inspired by so many different mothers in my life. Um, I grew up, you know, with mainly just women. <laughs> my sister and mom are here somewhere. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, all these women in my life have really played such a big role in my upbringing. And um, sometimes it's not even like your blood. Sometimes it's your best friend, or sometimes it's someone that just comes into your life as your mother. And um, so I really wanted to pay respect to all those people. And then we, when we started making this film, you know, I met so many incredible people. We, we did that documentary about a lot of different mothers who have been in difficult situations, some of which um, had their children in foster care. And so they played a big inspiration on this film as well. And then we expanded that and we met all these incredible women all over the place <laughs> who have inspired us in so many different ways. You know, even Tia right here is a mother. And she brought so much of that into her performance and I think that made it even more powerful. So I think the mothers come in all these different forms. Yeah, right, totally. Tia, maybe uh, I invite you to pick up on what Savannah was talking about and maybe some of the same themes of inspiration and also, as Savannah said, some of the things that you brought in from your own, your own life or those like maybe that inspired you. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, sorry, shit is crazy right now. Um, All right. <laughs> <laughs> I had first time seeing it too, so. Yeah, I was a new mom, she did this, so. Yeah. Whenever you see me cry, I'm really fucking crying. <laughs> um, and uh, I think, there's so much longing in being a mom, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot of things you can't control, you have to learn that. Mm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. It's, uh, it's wicked, but um, it's a job you're chosen for, your kids choose you, and you just gotta show up to work every day. It's tired as fuck, <laughs> exhausted, toe up but still giving your best. And um, that feeds everybody, not just your kids, you know? So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, huge. Thank you. Let's go, let's go down the line with the, this, same, this, same, this same theme and thread, and then I want to see if uh, anyone in the audience has a question, but this notion of, of inspiration and sort of harnessing, channeling, and bringing your own uh, experience to to the, the the script and the world that Savannah and everyone are creating. Yeah, um, this one was challenging for me because I don't have kids <laughs> mainly, but um, I think throughout filming, I told you this, Savannah, I, I learned so much, um, even with having conversations with Tia, which, by the way. So proud of you. It's incredible. Um, I grew up with a single mom, and I have two sisters, so I also grew up around a lot of women. So to um, just really feel like there were real mothers um, that were there with us to tell their stories just was incredible. And um, now I'm deeply connected with the film. It's my first time seeing it too, so I'm really emotional. But um, amazing job, amazing. Um, 
Yeah, mm, when Savannah asked me to score this film, um, I immediately knew that I wanted to do it. Um, a lot of my process, most of my process is through channel and um, trusting in that process of not knowing what's gonna happen. And so much of this is not knowing what's gonna happen, but trusting in those that are around you, trusting in yourself, most of all. And it was a wild ride because of what also my own personal relationships with motherhood and grief. And um, so yeah, it hit on so many levels. And I'm just so grateful. I don't have kids either, so there you go. But last night, hanging around with this group, I was told I had five-star titties, so maybe that's why. I'm all right with that. I'm very grateful to be a part of this. Certainly try to bring myself to anything. Just try to be as naked as I can. This is certainly a tsunami of emotion. You can see right here all this sort of percolating. But when you're on set, there were amazing background players and crew and just the, the, the uh, I think, the reverence that they showed everybody to give space. And uh, these young women who have all put themselves forward with courage and bravery and not stepping into the abyss, not knowing. And Savannah being the leader with her beautiful baby face and the power. <laughs> Look at that, she's got a baby face. The power that she brings is no joke. So I was you know, grateful to be there. I've been here for a while, so to be around new energy is very important for a veteran actor. And uh, in a way, that's my motherhood, is to make sure that I've got my core straight for myself and performance and you know, delivering what I feel like I hope I can deliver, but also being um, uh, a woman mentor to people and just giving them space to be themselves and, and not trying to, yeah, not trying to provide any sort of expectation. And that's been a wonderful thing in my life and I'm really very proud of everything I've seen and I'm, I'm grateful to be, have been asked to be invited. Question about being musicians. Yeah, <laughs> um, I mean, I, I can speak for me personally, it was really new. We got to talk, we got to have conversations. Um, I've never acted before. Have you? No, never. <laughs> um, but Savannah did an amazing job. She had us like walk around the mall and shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she had us like walk around the mall and hang out and have conversations and Tia told me things about her daughter, her beautiful daughter. Um, and uh, I think I just have to channel the same thing that I channel on stage, which is being present, truly being present and learning and listening to people and listening to my character. Ooh. Shout out Doki, y'all. Oh. One time. Ooh, I feel like the only similarity I could think of with music, acting and being vulnerable, being a mother is like, it's gangster. <laughs> it's really gangster. And um, it takes a lot to just put your whole bare self out. And in our music, oh, in my music, your music too, we're very bare. And I think as black women, we don't have a lot of safe spaces to do that, right? So when I'm in the studio, I call it the rage cage. Because I get to wild out in that motherfucker. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I took the same opportunity. Savannah, you know, was an excellent coach. You know what I'm saying? And letting me know that whatever comes up is fine. And um, I had an opportunity to react and be present. You know, take after take was different. Every take was different because every emotion comes up different and it's kind of like 
recording, you get in there and um, you hear yourself back and it's like, no, I wasn't angry enough. <laughs> Run it back, you know? Um, so in that, I think just being chosen, right? We just answered the call, so. Okay. Thank you. Black women are being hard enough and the judgment that Gia faces you talk about navigating that balance. Yeah. Um, I think a question I had just going into this film was like, could, could the audience ever empathize with this woman? And, um, you know, that when someone does drugs while pregnant, like we jump to a conclusion of what we think that person is, or we jump, jump to a judgment we don't think about the whole person or what they're going through or what the system has done to them. And so that was a really big question for me, just writing the script. And that was something that me and Tia talked about a lot. And I think all of us really talked about it. How do we like not judge our characters? How do we not judge the people that we're playing and the world we're in? And you know, a part of that was just hearing people and giving them the space to speak. And, um, you know, those women in this film, and actually, I also want to shout out the men in the film as well, because they're also here. Actually, can you have stand up with me, Marley Um, And also, Tito, where you at? Yeah. <laughs> you know, these people really poured themselves into this and they were given the space to speak and be a part of this and I think that was a part of making sure there wasn't judgment while filming, you know. Um, I wanna... <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanna say thank you, it was just dope doing this. I'm not an actor neither, I was actually helping cast people, but Savannah, I just love your story. I'm an athlete too, trying to switch my career to being an urban planner. And so just hearing her story just made me emotional. And so that made her feel like I was cool for the part. But <laughs> was, I just really, I just like that. I, was, I got to be me, everybody got to be them. And I just really fooled with everybody on the stage. It's just, yeah, it was really just a bay feel, bay film. And I don't know how other sets feel, but it's gonna be hard to match for me. <laughs> time for this first screening of Earth Mama, but this is not the last time we'll be talking about this movie. Congratulations to this entire Thank team. You so much. Thank, you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing the movie with us. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.